Okay, I'm not going to go through all of the lab for larger is not always better. What I'm going to do is just show you how easy it is to make uh, the gels that you're going to use to cut for this lab. You're to take 30 grams of agar in one liter of water and bring it to a boil. Now I do that with this Andy hot plate stirrer. You can also do it in a microwave. You just have to watch. Do microwave on 30 second to one minute bursts. <clears throat> excuse me, so it doesn't overflow. If that does overflow, uh, don't get in a panic because it's real easy to clean the gel out of the microwave. I've done it many times. So at this point, I have brought the auger solution to a boil. I've added some sodium hydroxide, which is not the directions that they tell you to do. They tell you to add the phenolphthalein after it has had a chance to cool. I kind of add the phenolphthalein toward the end. And of course, I have my stirring going on so you can see that stirring. Stir that up. And you get a nice pink color. Now you have to add the phenolphthalein after the solution cools, okay? That when you're boiling the auger, the 30 grams of auger in the water, the solution, uh, the, the boiling water will kind of turn clear. It'll go from cloudy to clear. Don't let it boil and overflow, but get it close to boiling, as close to boiling without overflowing as you can. Here I have it done in a 1,000 milliliter beaker. You can use a, I would suggest that you use a beaker and not a flask, because flasks, of course, have that small mouth and it tends to boil or overcook too quickly. Uh, when, you, when it cools off, add the phenolphthalein. Now don't try to put the phenolphthalein in while the water is still boiling because you'll break the phenolphthalein down and it won't work. And then it tells you to add sodium hydroxide and you can add sodium hydroxide until you get a nice darker color. I don't, that's up to you what color you want. So just adding a little bit of phenolphthalein makes it just a tad bit darker. I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay. After you have made up your solution and you've got the nice pink color that you want, you go ahead and pour the gels. Now I just use a dissecting tray to pour gels. I have them. You take the rubber or the plastic out of the bottom of them and it's pretty easy to use. Uh, you can go to the grocery store and buy some aluminum foil or tin foil trays. So you pour the gel into the tray. Make sure you take out the stirring rod before you do that. Action. And there you have it. That's it. just that easy. Store them in the refrigerator. Put a little bit of a weak solution of sodium hydroxide. Don't forget that's caustic. Uh, put some aluminum foil over the top of it and they'll store for three, four, five days. Don't let it go a couple of weeks because the gel will dry out and it won't be usable. I've had, I have stored one in the freezer for a while, but you know, you, you should plan on using this thing pretty quickly.